we want to go ahead and configure this uh, for access from the internet. It's already pretty much set up at this point for, for that on the camera end. There's really not a whole lot we have to do except assign it the port that we're going to use. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into the settings again. Username, the default username on this unit is admin and the password is blank. And it just takes us right back into the settings. You can see here it says HTTP port. Now you could use port 80, uh, but some routers will automatically assign itself port 80. Um, so what we like to do is we just like to change that to either 88, 89, 90 or something that's else that's available. For our purposes here we're going to use port 89. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the OK button. Next thing that we're going to do from here is we're going to go back into our router settings. And what we're going to do is go to the applications and gaming section and then to the, you can see here that it went ahead and reset our IP camera for that new port. And you can see it shows up here as port 89, but we're back to the router setup here. What we're going to do is first, like I said, we're going to go into the applications and gaming section and then to the port range or port forwarding uh, section here. And we need to go ahead and set up our IP camera uh, on port 89. And the way you can do that here, we'll just go ahead and zero these out for demonstration here so we can show you how you would do that on a blank line. So you can see these lines down here have the same information as this, which means it's a blank line. What you would simply do to configure this is to simply go ahead and type in whatever application name we're using. So for this purpose, it's going to be IP camera, wireless IP camera. And we're going to use port 89. And the device is going to be at the IP address of 120 on our local network. And we'll go ahead and enable that and then save our settings. What that does is it allows the router to know that any request coming from the internet with port 89 will route that request to our IP camera at the IP address of 192.168.1.120. So if we hit continue, we should see the IP camera again on port 89 and the IP address of 120, and it is enabled. So our settings here are saved, and this pretty much concludes the, the portion that's you know set up in the router here. What we need to do now is simply test the IP address here. We have a static IP, so we're going to go ahead and test that out just to verify that it works with our camera. And we'll go ahead and try that out. Our IP address here is going to be the following numbers we're typing in and we'll hit return and you can see that it takes us right to our camera. This concludes our demonstration of connecting the IP camera to the internet.